The president of the African Development Bank says donor institutions need to let governments drive their own economic policies. The bank was set up in the 1960s to fund private and public development projects, mostly in infrastructure and agriculture. This week, it is celebrating its 50th birthday in the Rwandan capital, Kigali. BBC Africa's Maud Julien asked the president of the ADB, Donald Kaberuka, how well African economies are currently doing. I don't agree that uh, African economies today are struggling as they were doing in the 70s or 80s. You remember the years of Afro-pessimism, the lost decade? I actually think uh, much of sub-Saharan Africa this year will be doing over 6%. Much of uh, the countries now you deem to be uh, struggling. Now, there are issues around transformation, around job creation, but those are challenges must now face. So the bank has just published um, its economic outlook for the continent in 2014, and the figures are much better than they were in 2013. In fact, they're closer to the figures um, from before the economic crisis in 2009. Does that mean that African economies have fully recovered from the economic crisis? Yeah, well, to avoid the complacency, yes, the, if you look at the investment flows, for example, we're now close to $80 billion this year, foreign direct investment. Just before the crisis, we're under $60 billion. So not simply a recovery, but actually investment flows, export performance, domestic consumption, all the key indicators are in the positive territory. If we look back a bit over the last 20 years, there's been changes in foreign investment. It's become more diversified, um, even though there's still a lot of investment in primary resources especially. And do you expect investment to diversify more over the next few years? In the last 10 years, a lot of uh, foreign direct investment has been flowing mainly into natural resources and associated infrastructures. But now I'm seeing further diversification into other services, financial services. Uh, I'm seeing diversification to even education and health and so on, into IT, into telecom services. So I welcome that, uh, that change. If you were to look back with a critical eye on the bank's last 50 years, what would you say could have been done differently? Perhaps not listen too much uh, to donors and be more in control in charge of their own economies. They could have made mistakes, but those would have been their own mistakes from which they will learn from. I think listening too much to, to the outside world led to what I call fashion in economics. We changed from decade to decade, and uh, touch and go, stop and go, and that caused some, uh, some damage. Now I, I see that countries are more in charge of what they do. Uh, they still make a few mistakes, but at least the direction is clear.